All right, so now we have two equations with two unknowns. So this one right here has our FT1 and our FT1, and we have FT2 and FT2. Do we know the gravitational force? Isn't that equal to mg? And in this case, I gave you that it was a 5 kilogram object. So 5 times 10 was 50 newtons. So now let's do um, some ninja math. So I have two equations that we have created. We created this equation that I can use and this equation that we can use. So we have two equations for our two unknowns. Now I have a short equation and a long <coughs> equation. My preference is to solve for one of the unknowns in the short equation and substitute it back into the long equation. That's just a personal preference. It doesn't matter which way you do. So I'm going to scoot down just a little bit and I'm going to go from here, up here, and I'm going to rearrange for FT1. So FT1 is equal to FT2 cosine 60 if I divide by the cosine of 30. Now we have an equation for um, FT1. It's this big blob right here. So let's take it and dump it back into this equation for FT1. This is all algebra. The physics is over. The physics was drawing the free body diagram and summing the forces. This is just algebra mania. Okay, so let's do this. I'm going to scoot down just a tad. So now this is where most students make a mistake. You'll start substituting FT2 cosine of 60 over the cosine of 30. And then most people forget that there's also a sine 30. Because all we did was substitute the big blob in for just this. So we can't leave out that sine 30. So just be careful there. Plus FT2 sine 60. Can I go ahead and add FG to both sides? Is that okay? All right, and it was 50 from earlier. So now I have just one unknown. Can I factor out an FT2? So I'm left with cosine of 60 over the cosine of 30 times the sine of 30 plus the sine of 60 because I factored out FT1 and that'll equal 50. So this is all just a big blob of numbers that you can put together if you want to. I'm going to be uh, kind of lazy and let somebody do the calculation for me, but that's effectively 50 divided by the big blob, the cosine 60 over the cosine 30 times the sine of 30 plus the sine of 60. Can somebody help me out with that? All right, so then we get 43.3 <coughs> newtons, so don't forget your units. So now we have F. T2 is equal to 43.3 newtons. Now, we need to find FT1. Did we have an equation that said like FT1 is equal to something? Let's roll back up here. Oh, there it is. It's even in, like highlighted. So I'm going to grab him and I'm going to bring him down here. Just like that. FT2. Whoops. Pardon me, FT1 is equal to. So can we make a substitution right there? Do we know what FT2 is? It's 43.3. And what do we get? Good 25 newtons. Yay, we did it. FT1 was 25 newtons. Just like that. 